It sounds trite. It's for real. No one's safe until we're all safe. The lack of access to vaccines in low-income countries has been brought into sharp focus once again with the emergence of the Omicron variant. And experts say there will be no end to the pandemic for anyone unless vaccine equity across the world is addressed immediately. If we look at high-income countries that have, since the vaccines have been available, really shown a kind of my nation first approach, what we're seeing is that it really is self-defeating. Even if we think, okay, we're good, we got vaccines, well, no, actually, it's not good enough. This is a, a pandemic. Our health is more interconnected than ever before. And a lack of vaccine supply essentially means that new variants can uh, develop. The more the virus spreads, the more it has a chance to mutate, creating variants that can spread worldwide. Currently, about more than 60% of people in high-income countries have two shots of the the COVID-19 vaccine compared to just 7% in low-income countries. But what does it say that we're talking about boosters and so much of the world still doesn't have their first dose? We have to change the narrative. It's not an us versus them. It's, it's a we. It's really about what can we do as a global community to make sure everyone who needs a vaccine gets access to them. Dr. Kohler says the issue is further complicated by the fact that even when supply is available, vaccine uptake is low in countries where there's a lack of trust in the government. So we also need to really think about how are we supporting governments globally to make sure that they are actually being accountable to their citizens, we're protecting human rights, and they're making sure that information about vaccines is transparent and available to their populations. Another major contributor to the iniquity is that drug companies' vaccine formulae are private. Dr. Kohler says profits are taking priority over lives. There should be a sharing of technology, there should be a waiving of patents, there is a lot more which we know we could do, but we're not doing it. And I think that speaks to a lack, again, of government leadership. Now, both Kohler and Dosani say if ordinary Canadians want to help, it's vital to get collectively involved, contact your elected officials and demand action. For more on this story, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.